This is the most explosive offense in Madden 23. Break yourself, fool! It has hard to stop money plays. Unstoppable glitch routes. And multiple routes in one play that beat any defense in the game. So if you want to see what offense I'm using to get results like this, oh my God. stick around after the intro. The is here. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable butt coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. In today's video, I'm once again going to be using my New Orleans Saints offensive and Denver Broncos defensive ebooks as they're probably my two favorites and have been for most of the season. And I'll once again be rocking with my NFC champion Eagles as we are going to the Super Bowl, baby. Let me know in the comment section what you guys thought about the games yesterday and who you think will win the big game. But before I get into the video, though, if you guys want to see more gameplays like this, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section as it really helps out the channel. And if you want to see more money plays right now from these or any of my ebooks and you don't want to wait, all you have to do is click the links in the description description or the top pinned comment to have them sent to the email of your choice for instant download. My opponent in this gameplay might look familiar as he is the exact same opponent from my last offensive gameplay from last week. If you guys missed that, I will have a link in the description and an on-screen pop-up at the end of the video, so stick around for that. But a quick synopsis of that game was that I was using a different offense from my Ravens ebook that is really designed to be frustrating and annoying, and I won that game by a touchdown. Sometimes when you finish a game and go right back into another one, if the guy you played does the exact same thing, you can often get matched up with them again. I immediately recognized the name and the team that he was using, so since I'm recording this for the purpose of making a YouTube video, I really didn't want to play the same guy twice as I thought I wouldn't be able to use it. So I offered him a friendly quit, how about new? But he was having none of it, as I think he was a little salty about how the last game ended and wanted some revenge. So now I'm stuck in a game that I really don't want to play, and early on it shows. In this game, he plays pretty much the same way as he's clearly a run-first player, as he starts by pounding out the rock before hitting the running back on a wheel route that I am late to cover for an easy score on the opening drive. Damn it! On offense, I start the game out with my gun stack by flex offense, only to struggle even to complete a single pass against his man cover one defense, nope. as everything is locked up, before getting sacked on on third down and getting pushed back to a fourth and 20 before punting it away. Then back on defense, Aaron Jones is his entire offense as he is pounding the rock once again on just about every single play before I decide to bulk up to a bigger formation with no second level help, yep. only to miss a big tackle and give up another big play touchdown to Aaron Jones to go down a quick 14-0 in the first quarter. So I can see this guy isn't playing around, and I'm going to have to start scoring points fast, which brings me to the offense that I'm going to be showcasing in today's video, as I think this is probably the best big play offense in Madden 23, and that is my gun empty Y Saint scheme, which is my favorite offense to use when I have to score a lot of points or get a lot of yards in a hurry. I've already put out a few videos about some of the plays in this offense, so I will once again have links in the description and an on-screen pop-up at the end of the video. Since he is in cover one man though, the first play I'm going to use is going to be my Saints corner, as this Y route here can be an easy one play touchdown against man defenses like this. The only adjustment that I need to make is to do something to pull back the safety, which I can do by either streaking the tight end or by motioning in the running back and putting him on a streak. This route works because he runs right into the defensive back, which usually bumps him past the DB. At that point, all you have to do is lob it up and and pass lead away from the safety, and then switch on and sprint underneath. Break yourself, fool! I don't get a one play touchdown, but I do break the coverage and I get down the field quickly, which is all I can ask for as I hurry it up and switch back to my favorite play, the Saints Fork. This play has several different setups that I will show you throughout this game. The RB route and the Y route beat most defenses, so I don't alter them with hot routes very often, but the tight end and running back change just about every single play. Close to the red zone like this, I will go with my short man beating setup, which is to put the running back on a slant and the tight end on a drag for an outlet pass which works to get me a little bit closer. I hurry him up again only to see him get out of man coverage entirely and switch to an obvious zone, which brings me to my next setup, which is really just the first setup that I put out from this at the beginning of the year, and that is to slant the running back once again for a check down as the tight end will get open here against just about any zone coverage instantly. <laughs> Back on defense, all my opponent does is run the ball, and he is very good at it, as his stiff arm is knocking dudes out like Tyson in these tackle battles. Goddamn. You got knocked the fuck out, man! 
He only really passes when I get into a third and long, which I get him into multiple times in this drive, only to see Aaron Rodgers work his magic as he goes right down the field once again. My run defense does step up, though, and we hold him to a field goal before halftime to go down 17-7. to In the second half, we start with the ball, and since I am down two possessions, I am going to push the ball down the field. I read zone, so I go back to the Saints fork. I already showed you my short distance setup, but if you want to stretch the field for bigger plays, the best setup is to put everyone on streaks, once again leaving only the B route and the R be route alone as the streaks are mostly meant to just pull back coverage but the tight end in all these setups is always an option so on the next play he decides to use the corner route leaving him one-on-one -on -one deep so i take my shot and come down with it as we are once again in scoring range after one play well, on the next play i read man coverage so i go back to my saints drag as it has several man beating routes over the middle with no adjustments before hurrying it back up and going back to the saints fork to hit the corner route on the short side for a wide open touchdown Back on defense and back to the Aaron Jones show as he is bullying my defenders on his way to the game of his life. As the first defender rarely takes him down alone. And my entire defense is eating a variety of stiff arms and truck moves. Until Brandon Graham takes matters into his own hands on third and three. Sit your ass down. To force a critical fourth down, which he decides to go for. <laughs> Back on offense, he starts hitting me with some man zero blitzes, making it hard to throw deep. So I go back to my short setup, as I have three routes here that can quickly get open against man coverage, enough for a big play between the corner route, the slant, and the tight end on the drag. Now all I have to do is watch where the user is, and even though Goddard had a hard time getting across the field due to some weird release animation, he still gets open over the middle, and since the other defenders are chasing the crossing routes across the field, there's no defenders out here. Inside the red zone, the drive stalls, as I just don't want to make a bad decision at throwing an interception, so I kick a field goal to tie the game. Back on defense and back to Aaron Jones as he runs the ball on just about every single play and I still can't stop it as the drive ends the exact same way almost all the other drives have with Aaron Jones running right through my defense and walking into the end zone. Back on offense, he starts running cover two man to slow down some of my bigger plays. So I know I'm going to have to take some of the shorter routes, like the slant over the middle. On the next play, he uses the corner route, but I body him anyway to get another big play. But it's clear to me that he is onto this play, so I'm going to have to use something new. So on the next play, I decide to use the Saints slant flood, as this play has several new man beating routes that he hasn't seen yet to the tight end and to the running backs. And on the next play, they were both wide open as I hit the tight end, who was the primary read for the first down. On the next play, though, I go right back to it and that was a huge mistake <gasps> no! as I throw a big interception already down a touchdown and to make things even worse he scores on the very next play as Aaron Jones walks in untouched from 40 yards out to make it a two touchdown lead with just over two minutes left in the game and it's now looking like I need a miracle on the next kickoff I get such a miracle as he accidentally kicks it a little too far for my return man to get a shot the secret to getting the kickoff return touchdowns is to not use the sprint button as sprinting allows defenders to get off their blocks faster and on the next kickoff I just walk right through the middle on my way to an easy kick return touchdown to pull back within a score with plenty of time left if I can get a stop. Getting that stop though is really the hard part is Aaron Jones is now playing at a superhuman level what? as he takes it to the house on the very next play for a 75 yard touchdown crossing the two minute warning. Oh come on! Now I need to score right away as time is a huge issue so I switch over to the PA read for my gun stack wide flex offense since he has been running a lot of cover two man and cover four and sure enough he is still in that. All you have to do for this play to work is put the Y route on a fade and the X route is a big play. He must know this play as he tries to drop back on that route break yourself fool but it is too late as we flip the field once again on one big play before running a hurry up to do it again he switches coverages but i get enough of an inside release to make the exact same route work anyway to score quickly in two plays without using a timeout. I try to get an onside kick only to fail, and now the entire game rests on me doing something that I haven't been able to do all day, and that's stopping Aaron Jones. And the margin for error is zero, as he can win the game with either a first down or maybe even just enough yards to get in the field goal range to take a two-possession lead. So on first down, I try a defense that I haven't tried yet in the spinner blitz, and I hold him to only two yards, which I will take all day. On the next play, he does slightly better to get the fall forward animation to get to third and five from the 41. Most field goal kickers could probably hit it from here, but he has Mason Crosby, who is older and has a pretty weak leg for Madden. So I go right back to the spinner blitz, knowing that I might need to knock him back on this play just to be safe. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Back Come on. on the
before Big Fletch eventually comes up with a recovery, giving me one minute left and one timeout to work with. On the next play, I make a bad read. And that was a close one. Now I'm already in a third and long with the game on the line. And since he is using the corner route, I make an adjustment for the next best route on this play, and that is the Y route, which really beats just about any zone defense. As I come back to the ball for an easy first down, and now I'm in scoring raids with plenty of time left and a timeout, but on the next play, I just don't trust the reads and decide to take off with the quarterback, forcing me to use my final timeout in the process. Now with only 15 seconds left making my offense very predictable as I can't run the ball or throw anywhere but into the end zone or I could lose the game. On the next play I think I read cover to zone and I decide to work the B route once again only to see a tight man coverage that's obviously a cover to man that I try to squeeze inside but the cornerback has me beat big time. So I switch on in hopes to cut the ball off and make a beautiful user adjustment to win the ball in the end zone and we are going for two and for the win. For the two point play I go back to my gun stack wide flex offenses. I at least want the threat of being able to run the ball if it's there, but he closes up the line and I decide to use my drive H wheel play instead, as all I have to do is slant the X route so that either that route or the running back will be wide open against man coverage. I make a quick decision to the running back though, and the coverage is tight, but he just barely gets past the diving tackle attempt. I do the fullback kick so I don't risk a return, and he takes an even bigger risk by trying to let it go out the back of the end zone to save time. But it doesn't get there, and now he has to field it, losing time and field position in the process. And that's the game, as I doubt you can run it in from here, Aaron Jones. No! Then with three seconds left, we get an interception on the prayer, and I wanted to showboat so badly, but I didn't want to risk a fumble, as we complete an epic comeback that I know ruined his day, beating him twice in a row in a devastating fashion. But hey, I offered you an out via a friendly quit, so you should have taken it and saved yourself the frustration. So that's that's the vid. If you guys want to see more gameplays like this, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. And if you want to see more like the first game we played, or more plays from this offense that I was using, I will have them both popping up on screen, so check them out as I'm sure it'll help with your game. Other than that, thanks for watching. I shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.